Okay, so here we have a heavy spring and a light spring. We're going to send waves down from the heavy spring into the light spring. Okay, and you are watching at the boundary here. And what you will see is that at the boundary, you get a reflected wave in the heavy spring which, change, which doesn't change phase. And you will see the wave pass through into the light spring. And what will change? The velocity of the wave will change. And the wavelength, and wavelength. The wavelength, wavelength will change, change as well. Because V equals F lambda. Okay? So if V changes, lambda then the changes. frequency stays the same. Lambda must change as well. Okay, go. Whee! See that speed up? And again. Whoops. Whoops. Move that across to there. Go. It's easy to see it speed up and and the wavelength changes. I'll try. I'll come and just try and get a big concise pulse there. Let's get a, over to the centre. Whoops. Get that into the middle. Now that'll do. And watch. There we are, that was definitely a bigger wavelength as it went through. Alright, now Fraser's turn. So the wave, as it goes from the light spring into the heavy spring, slows down and the wavelength gets shorter. If you look at the boundary again, there's a phase change as the light spring hits the heavy spring because it's like a fixed end. That was a good one. Try one more like that. And it's going quite fast. Okay, try a chain of waves now. Just to continue. See how the wavelength gets shorter? If I try the same, stop. Whoops. Try and get it back to the centre. Wavelength is a bit longer in the light spring. Okay, well done. Thank you, cameraman.